Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Cluvel. Today we will make this farmhouse Jingle Bell Santa ornament. He's fun and easy, so let's get started. First, let's make the faces. These are one inch round wooden beads. The hole goes all the way through. Um, sometimes they're sold as 25 millimeter beads. I like to select nice, clean beads without a lot of uh, grain showing. The first thing we'll do is to, um, to, <laughs> to burn the eyes. So this is a wood burning tool and I have the round tip and I'm just going to press the tip into the bead. Just hold it for a second. Once for each eye. It's easy. This is my favorite way to create a face. But if you, um, if you don't want to get a wood burning tool or you just don't feel confident for any reason, you can always just draw on the eyes with a black marker or black paint. I always look for the smoothest side of the bead. I think that's enough. Let's just do four. Next, I'll take a Q-tip and some cosmetic blush. I always work on a paper towel so that the blush doesn't rub off onto my work surface. Okay, next, um, let's do the noses. Just one drop of paint. Choose any color you like. Something kind of in the red family or pink or rose. And a bamboo skewer. Just dip the skewer into the paint. And a little dot right there for the nose. And then with white paint, we'll do the kind of highlights in the cheek and some eyebrows. I just do a dot in each cheek on each cheek. And then the eyebrow, you need a little bit more paint and just kind of a little arch like that. And that's all there is to it for the face. I think you can see um, all the details. Try to keep the eyebrows apart. If they're too close together, Santa might look angry. These are the two pieces of fabric that you'll need for this project. This is a buffalo check flannel. Uh, this piece is for the sleeves and the body, and this is for the hat. For the hat, I'm going to fold under just a quarter of an inch on the straight side and I'm going to uh, press and zigzag that to hold and then right sides together. I'll stitch up the long curved edge. This is the pattern. I will describe it at the end of the video. And likewise for this piece, I will fold under a half an inch. This is a quarter of an inch. This is a quarter of an inch. This is a half an inch. 
and I will seam. I'm going to use a zigzag seam just because it's a little bit more fun. And um, zigzag on each end, which will become the, um, the, the sleeve ends, the hems for the sleeve ends, and then right sides together, I will stitch up the long edge. Okay, I will be right back. Here's the hat and here is the sleeve body. I will turn these to the right side. Here's my hat, all sewn up. I hem the bottom and then sewed up the back with a quarter inch seam allowance. And my sleeve body piece, which I hem the ends and then sewed that up. And here's my head, my face. I have two um, pipe cleaners. I'll use one. Um, I think it's helpful to determine the center. Slide it into the sleeves. This is going to help you shape the arms. Don't trim the pipe cleaners yet because those will fold back to become the hands in a minute. So leave that in the center. Here's my bell. This is something like about two and a half inches. A red bell with the star cutouts. So you can imagine this is how the um, Santa is assembled. The head goes above this little loop. So this piece, um, if this is the front, we're going to put it this way. And then it'll wrap around, kind of like a scarf around a neck. Like this. And then these are the sleeves. So this is the front. And um, I'm going to use hot glue to secure that. So I'll open this up and put some hot glue in here and then press that down. The clattering of the bell might become annoying, but I'll, <laughs> I hope we can just ignore it. All right, so we're gonna leave the arms for now and Take a second pipe cleaner, and this is fun. Loop it through the loop, <laughs> loop it through the ring, and then through the bead, both ends. Turn the face to the front. That's good. Now I tie a knot, and then It's so funny, it looks like bunny ears, kind of. Shape this kind of to a point. I'm taking the ends and pressing them back into the hole. So there will be a hat in here, and this will help to hold the hat up. You got the idea. Now I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue right here to help hold the head. All of this will hopefully be concealed by the beard. So this is how he looks. He's kind of goofy right now. The hat goes over the pipe cleaners and I'm going to secure this to the head with hot glue. I want to make sure that I lift the hat up high enough to show the eyes and the eyebrows. I don't want it to come too low. So kind of up here, and there will be a little crease in the hat. And um, I like to kind of emphasize that a little bit. It looks a little bit more whimsical with the little crease there. So I'll start, here's the seam in the back, and I'll start by gluing the hat. Um, I need to leave a little bit of room for the hair in the back. And then I'll put some glue in the front. 
unfortunately the glue right here is not what's going to hold. We're actually gonna sew through those pipe cleaners with our hanging loop. So that'll be nice and secure. And I really think that's good enough to secure the hat. Front, side, back, side. The beard will come up over the very edge of the side and the back of the face. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue. It's a little wobbly still. All right, now for the beard. I have prepared, this is a three by five inch index card, which I folded in half. And then I just wrap the yarn around the three inch, the three inch direction, wrap the yarn, and then I sew down the center. So I wrapped it like this and sew down the center. And um, I use this technique for many of my tutorials, so I know you've seen it before. I'll pull the card out, and then I have something like this. I'm going to glue the seam of this hair, this beard bundle, around the bead like this to form the beard. And you can see that'll conceal the back of the head and help to secure the head as well. I'll start by applying a glue pretty low, like right beneath the cheeks. If you put it up too high, it'll obscure the features. So I'll put some glue right below the cheeks. And now I'm pressing the center, the seam, into the glue. It's going to look like this. And then I'll continue to glue around just the base of the hat there. And again, I'll press the seam and I'm sure you can see how that just perfectly joined together in the back. And now I'm gonna squeeze some more glue out along the front of the seam and then press the beard down like that. Starting in here. And then press it down. And then this, the back, and then a little bit on the sides. There's the glue in the back. See how it came right up to the bottom of the hat there in the back? And then a little bit on the sides as well. This is a generous beard. This is really fluffy. There's the beard. And you see there's plenty of room there for a mustache. Hold this in and go one, two, three. Make an X right there. That's how you know you have the right amount. And then the top end of the yarn goes all the way through and around. And then with the bottom end, just tie it off in the center. So essentially you're making a figure eight and tying it off in the center. Tie it nice and tight. Here's how it looks. A figure eight with three strands, three loops on either side and a knot in the center. I will apply some glue to the center, to the knot, and press that right below the nose. like that. Now with these nice long arms, our farmhouse Santa is going to hold a wreath. This is um, just a piece of, you know, artificial pine garland. I cut a six, six inch piece and I will fold it into a circle. And then I will wrap the hand, the end of the pipe cleaner, there to hold the wreath, and then go around a few times around the wrist, like that. So there's the hand holding the wreath. 
This is the top of the wreath. So I'm going to bend this over to the other side and repeat with this hand. Through the wreath and pull it through all the way to the sleeve. I had to cut the sleeves a few times to determine the right length and the right width. So trust me when I say that nine inches long and two and a half inches wide is really the best proportion. This one's a little long, I'll cut that one off. So there's the wreath. And he can hold anything. He could hold a basket or anything you like, any kind of little decoration. I don't know, I don't think this piece of ribbon is long enough. This is some um, black gingham ribbon. So I'll tie a little bow. And then I'll glue it to the center top like this. And then for a little more fun, I have these options. These are all from Target. This is a wood snowflake. These are stars and hearts. But I really just like the star the best, even though it's really simple. So I'll glue that right to the center of the bow. Then finally, I'm gonna do the hanging loop. I'm going to use this red baker's twine. I'm feeling inside for the, um, the pipe cleaner, which is in there. And I'm gonna make sure that I sew in between the, um, you know, the two bent parts of the pipe cleaner. And there he is. Here's the pattern for the hat. It's four and a half inches tall and three and a half inches wide at the bottom. Four and a half, three and a half. And just fold it in half in the middle and cut a little cone shape. Nothing to it. Four and a half tall, three and a half wide, fold it in half, and cut to a cone shape. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.